So what really happens after a customer hits a curb with their car? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. After a customer has a significant enough impact with a the curb, they may not notice any noise coming from the bearing at all. It takes time to build up that damage so the bearing starts to make noise and then we'll have play. So what's going on here? Well, what's actually happening is that small impact on one of the races of the bearing builds up. And over time, as the ball bearings go over it, it does more and more damage. This causes metal fatigue, and this is what's known as spalling. So that tiny dent caused by a curb turns into this. This is basically the ball bearings going over the same area over and over again and causing more damage to the bearing itself. This can actually cause excess heat inside the bearing. This is what can destroy the grease inside the bearing, heat it up, and possibly cause some of the grease to escape out of the seal itself. This is when a bearing starts to fail, the play builds up even more and more, and eventually the customer may even notice a ABS code for a wheel speed sensor because the reluctor ring or encoder ring is on the back. This is when they typically bring it to your shop. So the next time you get a wheel bearing job in your shop, take a look at the races if you can, and you'll notice some very interesting metal fatigue patterns. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.